हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई एम व्यासमूर्ति कट्टी आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू इन ब्रीफ अबाउट हारमोनियम एज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड द संगत विद हारमोनियम इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ हिंदुस्तानी क्लासिकल म्यूजिक और हिंदुस्तानी राग संगीत आई एम अ हारमोनियम प्लेयर माई सेल्फ एंड आई मस्ट से that i am very fortunate to be able to do the sangat of many stalwart vocalists of our country though it seems to be an easy instrument to start with going a little deeper into it especially in the context of hindustani rag sangeet one requires a special training and a consistent rigorous riyaz riyaz is practice a lot of effort goes into learning and mastering the art of sangat too what is sangat sangat is accompaniment accompaniment with a vocalist sangat is a very special unique subject a very unique art hindustani classical music is an impromptu art form it has a framework of the rag the compositions thereof and the style of presentation but a master vocalist challenges himself to create new things within that framework sometimes even takes a creative liberty to widen the framework also so if creativity in real time is so special then to understand that creativity and efficiently follow it immediately on the harmonium is also very special it is an art in itself it would be interesting to note that the sangatkar the accompanist is reproducing which is already been produced but these two things are reaching the audience together in real time and producing a great effect the harmonium sangatkar therefore forms a very unique position on the concert stage he can lift a performance with his sheer abilities of accompaniment let's now quickly have a look at the history of harmonium very briefly it is said that the foot operated reed organ was invented by alexander the ben in 1840s in france a reed is a metal structure which has a vibratable tongue riveted to the base the wind passing through the reed makes the tongue vibrate to produce the sound the bellows were foot operated the keyboard was operated by both hands unlike this harmonium where we operated we operate the bellow with the left hand and the keyboard with the right hand in the subsequent decades the organ went through many improvements in germany and france it came to india through missionaries and the organ found its place in churches initially the organ became very popular due to the sweet tone subsequently due to the efforts of shri dwarkanath ghosh of dwarkin and company the foot operated organ got converted to a hand operated harmonium and it is called as baja or just a peti today the harmonium is an irreplaceable part of any concert it is being used across the genres including hindustani rag sangeet ghazals semi classical light music bhajans kavali film music etc 
the contributions of stalwarts like bhaiya ganpat rao and govind rao tembe and others need to be appreciated for popularizing harmonium in those days now let's understand the construction of the harmonium quickly the harmonium is a sushira vadya a wind instrument the wind is pushed in through the bellows and is made to pass through the vents created by the pressing of the key while passing through the vent the wind makes the corresponding reed vibrate and thus the sound is produced very simple principle of sound production isn't it but it produces a very rich sound the bellow structure and its mechanism the keys and its mechanism the reeds the reed board the sound compartment and the wooden box are the important parts of the harmonium okay. let's see here these are the bellows so when i operate the bellow the air is pushed in so and this is the keyboard and when i press the key there is a key structure here this gets lifted up and uh, below this structure are two vents and the air passes through those two vents and thereby uh, producing the sound through the reeds here the reeds get vibrated and it produces the sound this is a reed board this is a sound compartment so i operate the bellows press a key today one is able to select a specific type of harmonium according to his need transportability plays an important role today you can unfold the harmonium for the concert and then fold it back to look like a suitcase and carry very easily the traditional vertical type of harmonium is also available the harmonium uh, which you just saw uh, the harmonium which is in uh, front of me is a vertical type of harmonium more the octaves bulkier is the harmonium so the harmonium can be made to order if we exactly know how many number of octaves we actually need then there can be many types of harmoniums uh, depending on the number of reed sets it could be a single reed actually nobody uses a single reed harmonium anymore uh, but it is possible to have one a single reed double reed or a triple reed based on the need and then there are various combinations of these reeds possible uh, uh, in case of double reed harmonium it could be a male male type of uh, combination or a bass male kind of a combination in case of triple reed uh, bass male female could be a combination or bass male male could be a combination so when i say double reed or triple reed as you saw just now uh, the harmonium will have that many sets of reeds uh, on the reed board and then quality or make of the reed so we used to have uh, reeds made in europe earlier german or paris so the reed qualities like monarch or jubilate are made in germany the reeds like casriel or bbd are made in france but unfortunately none of these are available now but these were some of the finest reeds available they have been recirculating and uh, if uh, you are fortunate you can get hold of one such reed set 
and of course uh, there are old indian reeds like system paris etc and uh, today palitana in gujarat uh, they have a factory of pr uh, reed production uh, so we get most of our reeds uh, for the present requirement from those factories even punjab i think produces reeds and there is another type of harmonium which is a scale changer as we discussed earlier the organ came to india and was played in churches later it crept into the folk music and theater music scenario especially in marathi kannada and bengali folk and theater it will be interesting to know that even today the sangeet nataks use organ for their performances after the innovation from being a foot operated organ into a hand operated harmonium it reached more areas or genres including hindustani classical music or rag sangeet the recorded music of the early decades in 20th century have a harmonium as the sangeet instrument its journey began from a single reed harmonium to a double reed instrument for better resonant sound and then from a sweet sounding male male double reed harmonium to a more robust bass male kind of a harmonium to cater to the male voices also single reed this was double reed male male now hear the sound of double reed bass male let's now turn to the advantages of having harmonium for accompaniment harmonium has a steady sound which supports the vocalist if a sangeetkar possesses a good well tuned harmonium it is a boon for the vocalist and the concert as a whole harmonium does not change its tuning during the concert the reeds maintain the tuning irrespective of the weather condition during a concert as against any string instrument it is possible to opt for different tonal quality of the harmonium depending on the texture of the vocal sound for example male male or a bass male or a male male in lower octave etc harmonium has a very sweet rounded and resonant sound the harmonium can play high speed tans with clarity and crispness and as i said earlier the learning of this instrument harmonium is easier to start with 
Harmonium can be played as a solo instrument apart from being an accompanying instrument. As you know, the harmonium being a keyboard instrument, there couldn't be a continuous progression of frequencies between two keys. However, this drawback could be overcome by understanding the timing of the mint and playing the keys in such a way that you give the same feel of the mint. Friends, let's now focus on the requirements to be a good Sangatkar. The diagram here represents the process of Sangat. A few sub processes are also involved. Let's understand them. The vocalist sings, the tabla plays, and the harmonium Sangatkar listens to it and decodes the music. He is experiencing the music here and at the same time visualizing the keyboard and the finger movements. Fingers movement takes place almost simultaneously. The same music is delivered on the harmonium. He listens to it and if he finds something lacking, he tries to correct it during the next such available chance. The processes of listening, decoding, visualizing, fingering and the corrective action thereafter are involved here. Better the skill in each of these processes, better the Sangat. There are occasions when the Sangat car is needed to fill the spaces. Depending on what the vocalist is expecting, whether it is a breathing space or a thinking space, the Sangatkar is supposed to fill that space with meaningful matter or silence respectively. Having a well-tuned harmonium with a good rounded tone adds to the quality of the listening experience. It would be ideal if the Sangatkar knows the ragas, the compositions and the typical development of the raga by the vocalist. The knowledge of Gayaki with respect to his gharana adds to the quality of accompaniment. A Sangatkar is normally a good solo player too. He can create the ragas in his own way as he is trained in that. But while doing the Sangat, he has to be aware that he is doing the Sangat and not playing the solo and so has to be much restrained. Patience plays a good role here. Now what are the challenges? It can be said that mastering all the requirements to be a good Sangatkar is very challenging. It takes a certain long time too. I am going to discuss a few connected aspects which may not have been discussed earlier. The challenges could be divided as on the stage challenges and off the stage challenges. The understanding of the musical likes and dislikes with respect to the Sangat of the vocalist and taking care accordingly to me is the greatest challenge. The concert goes very smooth once this understanding happens. Sometimes it so happens that the Sangat car may have to play on different scales. The ability to maintain the continuity in playing notes using bellowing technique and key pressing techniques is also very challenging. Ability to tune the harmonium in a given scale as per the requirement is very challenging too. As a Sangatkar, one might associate with many vocalists. Each vocalist has 
his or her own pitch. The naturally tuned harmonium for every such pitch is a must for the better experience. So to possess so many harmoniums, tuning them, maintaining them is a huge challenge. And it is a huge challenge financially too. By now, you must have understood the importance of the role of the harmonium as an accompanying instrument. With a little sadness, I must admit that the harmonium sangatkars have hardly received the due recognition or accolades for their skills, hard work and the value they bring to the concert scenario. Now we'll talk about training in harmonium. So I can divide this training into four broad portions. One is training in the techniques of harmonium playing, the Tantra, the training in Rag Sangeet, which is Vidya, and then training in Sangat and training in tuning aspect. So let us discuss one by one briefly. The first one, training in the techniques of harmonium playing. It is important to achieve the muscle memory of playing the harmonium. When you hear some music or think of a beautiful song or phrase, you must be able to reproduce it on the harmonium efficiently. It is about playing certain exercises again and again. The Guru guides you with these exercises. The exercises are about scales, alankars, paltas, ragas, laya, etc. These have to be performed on a regular basis. These exercises improve the swaragyan, laygyan and the fingering techniques. Training in Rag Sangeet As the core of our music is the Rag, one has to take a systematic talim in the Rag, the compositions and the development of these compositions. Listening to good music, apart from playing what is being taught, is very important. The training, the riyas, accompanied by listening to quality music regularly improves the Raga Gyan. Training in Sangat A student of music aspiring to become a good Sangatkar needs to accompany vocalists on a regular basis. This process makes him aware of musical needs of the vocalists and make him a better Sangatkar. Also, this is a good exercise to test and execute his Swargyan, Laygyan, Ragagyan and muscle memory. Coming to the tuning aspect, slowly and steadily, a harmonium Sangatkar starts to give performances. He would possess a good number of harmoniums. At this stage, he should be able to tune his own harmoniums. It is a very important and subtle skill. It adds quality to music performances. 
broadly there are two types of tuning the scale the equitempered tuning and just tuning or natural tuning for hindustani classical music or rag sangeet we use natural tuning with this i come to the end of this leg dem i thank nptel for this opportunity and finally i wish you all the very best and really wish that some of you will really take up harmonium as a subject of learning and this particular session will really act as an inspiration to you thank you very much and i will end this uh, session with my brief solo recital thank you very much and namaskar
Thank <laughs> you.